Welcome fellow sportsmen to the beginning of the 2012 big game season setting process. My name is Daryl Mainz, Regional Wildlife Manager for the Upper Snake Region. We have provided you with seven YouTube videos sharing the most up-to-date information we have on surveys and harvest information for mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, antelope, black bear, mountain lion, and wolves. This year wolves will be a part of the big game season setting process. Hunter harvest data from 2011 will be available sometime in mid-February. These videos serve two purposes, information sharing for you and issue identification for us. Please note, you will not be able to use the YouTube comment box to submit your comments, but my email address will be provided at the end of each video for you to use. This video outlines mule deer harvest data from the Upper Snake region. If you need additional time to look at a figure or graph, please use the pause button located below the video. The percentage of hunters who filled their tags on opening weekend of the deer season has increased slightly since 2008. The last three years, hunter success on opening weekend has averaged about 15%. Mule deer populations in the Upper Snake region are primarily driven by the recruitment of fawns into the adult population. In order to track this recruitment, we radio call our fawns in the early winter and track their survival through their first winter. High fawn survival translates into high recruitment and an increasing deer population. This graph shows fawn survival from January 1st through May 31st over the last decade. As you can see, fawn survival varies greatly from one year to the next. Last winter, statewide fawn survival was about 25%, the lowest recorded since we began monitoring survival. The winter preceding that, however, was a mild winter with very high fawn survival. Every December we fly a portion of five winter ranges within the Upper Snake region. During these flights we record the composition of groups of mule deer that we observe, or how many bucks, does, and fawns are in each group. The fawn doe ratio gives us information on how productive that deer population is, while the buck doe ratio tells us how many bucks we have in the population. The 2011-2012 composition counts showed lower than average fawn to doe ratios and higher than average buck to doe ratios. Idaho Fish and Game manages mule deer on a population level. The following slides contain information about the population management units that are found within the Upper Snake region. These Population Management Units, or PMUs, are similar to elk zones. We fly these PMUs on a four-year rotation. The Central Mountains PMU was flown in 2011. The Upper Snake Region's portion of the Central Mountains PMU is Unit 50, which had an estimate of 4,463 mule deer. Idaho's Mule Deer Management Plan calls for us to manage for two or three different types of hunting opportunity. The first, a general season hunt with a 100% chance to hunt every year. Although with no restrictions on the number of hunters, this type of opportunity also comes with lower expectations of hunter success, buck quality, overall number of bucks, and the number of other hunters encountered during the hunt. The second and third types of opportunity are quality and high quality. With increased expectations of hunter success, buck numbers, buck quality, and fewer hunters. These quality and high quality hunts have lower drawing odds because hunter numbers are restricted. This table presents information on the last three years data for those criteria and the goal that is outlined in the mule deer management plan. As you can see, the general season in Unit 50 has lower success and lower percent four points in the harvest, although a 100% opportunity to hunt every year as compared to the high quality late buck hunt in Unit 50. The Region 6 portion of the Mountain Valley PMU consists of Units 51, 58, 59, and 59A. That PMU was scheduled to be flown 
during the winter of 2011-2012, but has been postponed due to mild winter conditions. This table shows the status of hunts for units 51, 58, 59, and 59A within the Mountain Valley PMU. General hunts in these units have averaged 21% hunter success and 23% four points in the harvest from 2008 through 2010. The quality hunt within these units is the Unit 51 muzzleloader hunt. This hunt had hunter success that averaged 46% with 69% of the harvest being four point or better over the last three years. The late buck tag in units 58, 59, and 59A has a three year average of 71% hunter success and 71% of the harvest being four point or better. The Island Park PMU was flown in 2008. 2,397 deer are estimated to be within Unit 60A and 2,827 deer were estimated in Unit 62. General seasons within the Island Park PMU averaged 14% hunter success and 32% four points in the harvest. Quality hunts within this PMU averaged 41% hunter success and 34% four points in the harvest over the last three years. And the late buck hunts within the Island Park PMU have averaged 50% hunter success and 77% four points in the harvest. We flew the Palisades PMU in 2010 and estimated there was 5,182 deer within the PMU. The general, quality, and high quality hunts within this PMU consist of general season hunts, late October and early November either sex hunts, and a late buck hunt. The three year average for buck to doe ratio has been 34 bucks per 100 does within this PMU. Hunter success ranges from 12 to 62 percent and the percent four points in the harvest ranges from 44 to 88 percent across the three different hunt types. The Upper Snake Regions portion of the Caribou PMU are units 66 and 69. There were an estimated 7,431 deer within these two units when we flew this survey in 2009. Hunting opportunity within the Caribou PMU consists of general season hunts and late buck hunts. General season hunter success within this PMU has averaged 14% over the last three years, with 38% of the harvest being four point or better, while the late season buck tags have averaged 41% hunter success, with 86% of those being four point or better. We are now seeking your input to identify issues with the current big game hunting seasons. As an example, I would like to see more or less hunting opportunity for whatever species in whatever unit. Deadline for these comments is February 16th. We will consider these issues and present strategies or changes to resolve these issues at public meetings later in the month. These proposals will also be posted on our fishing game website where you can also provide comment. Meeting times and places will be noted in local newspapers, our Fish and Game website, fishandgame.idaho.gov, or you can always call our regional office at 208-525-7290. Please email your issues to me at daryl.mines at idfg.idaho.gov. If you need additional time to write down this email address, press the pause button located below this video. Thank you for taking the time to help us set the big game seasons for 2012.